Good morning. Oh, they got a radio going on there. It's pretty loud. Whew. That was an amazing sleep. That bed was... <laughs> I felt like a king, you know, just in a beautiful throne bed. It was incredible. But as you can see, the neighborhood is so peaceful and beautiful this morning. Wow. It's like literally right out of a book. And look, there's the bike, by the way. It's doing good. No damage, thankfully. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's been good. So right out there, uh, back of their house, this is the basketball court or the multi-purpose uh, function area. And so they have everything like childcare or whatever, all kinds of stuff going on over here. But yet this is their backyard of their house. And it was one of their relatives that donated the land for this. So this is the big goodbye, but you know what, Eleanor, you're amazing. Oh. You're, I am so grateful for your, your opening your doors to me like this. This is so cool. It's a pleasure. Oh, it, it was a pleasure. We talked forever, okay? We talked forever. <laughs> I, it, it was like 1.30 in the morning or something. Oh my goodness. Which yeah, is fun because, nice. you know, what's the point of living if you're not making new friends, new experiences, stuff like that. <laughs> so, but today we got to head back up the coast. Let's see where it takes us another hot day but uh, we're gonna head up but she's gonna take me over to the town hall see if the mayor is around see if I want to say hello to mayor I said sure why not let's go see and uh, then we'll keep going after that but I thought why not let's go for it okay we're right downtown right here at the municipal hall I can stop it. old Spanish flair to the place beautiful yellow and I guess uh, I'll let you lead the way. I don't know where to go. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> the blind leading the blind. She probably knows yeah, the blind leading the blind, exactly. Um, Sounds good to me. So the mayor is not here. He's actually in another township, but as you can see here, He's this, what they call a guapo, okay? A handsome young man. He's only 29 years old. So how impressive is that, that you can be elected as mayor of a pretty good sized town um, at 29 years old? Wow. So this is the tourism minister. Is that your title, tourism minister or? Tourism officer. Of officer, time. fantastic. And so she's been telling me a little bit about the town. What's the population? Uh, we're about 80,000 80, okay. here in Dumangas and uh, as you can see here, the, these are the uh, old paintings of our previous mayors here in Dumanga. So these are incomplete, incomplete but uh, as you can see, you, have a, you can have a glimpse of uh, our municipal mayors here in Dumangas. Right. Yeah, it's pretty incredible and uh, yeah, I think he's still he's definitely the youngest. more than 50 years. Yeah, well that's 1900 over there. That's incredible. So there, that's a pretty big uh, township then. What is it? First class, second class? Uh, first class municipality. First class municipality. So that's based on square uh, meters. And so that means it's very, very big. Okay. This is Amal Kutu? Yes. Did you say it right? Yeah. Okay. And so you're the head SB member? Uh, number one. Number one is member. Number one. So vice mayor of Goles. Okay, very good. And so you are all having a meeting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, meeting, meeting. And so what, what does uh, the, these type of word meetings mean? You guys talk about like... Yes, there is a concern regarding the medicines. Okay, so so healthcare, but sometimes it might have to do with roads or crime or whatever. You meet regularly on these yes, things? Yes, yes. Every Wednesday they're having their... Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay, very good. So here I am interrupting them, like a good Canadian <laughs> does. Uh, have you been to Canada before? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was a Z-man. Oh, well, look at that. In Toronto. What? Oh, that's where I'm from. I'm from Toronto. So. <laughs> small world. Very small world. All right. Well, I, I don't want to interrupt your meeting or anything, and I'm, I'm just glad that we could have a minute. Yes, I appreciate I'll be back it. Later, huh? Yeah, back later. And, but I'm, I'm heading north, but I live in Iliwilo City, so, you know, when you guys have a fiesta coming up or something, we'll, we'll come back. 
Yes, sir. This is the vice mayor and the former mayor as well. And you have been telling me so much about the town. I really appreciate it. There is a lot going on here, a lot of investment, uh, a lot of properties that are available, and a lot of businesses that have been, a lot of people are considering opening in this town, which I was really impressed with. And it makes sense. You're right beside Ilo Ilo City. If you don't want to be in a crazy part of a city where everything's so crazy and stressful, you would want to be just outside. And this is a perfect place. Yes, of course. What we can offer here is a very relaxed uh, environment. Well, we are uh, giving towards uh, a lot more of development as well as um, industrialization because we have the port here, which is operating 24 hours, seven days a week, um, catering people from Panay Island, going to Negros Island, and we're accommodating around um, about 1,000, 1,500 passengers a day wow, okay. and several uh, hundreds of cars every day. Makes it also a good place for investment for tourism related things. Oh yes, of course. Because we noticed that there wasn't a lot of places like hotels or anything like that to stay right on the water there. Nobody's really made that investment yet. It's, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, what we can uh, offer so far is that we have the best and the freshest seafoods in the province of Iligino. Oh, beautiful. In fact, we have um, several restaurants that has uh, opened lately and uh, from from international cuisine to local cuisine, we have almost everything. We have also um, inland resorts. That way um, some tourists, maybe uh, locals and foreigners can come over. And uh, what you're mentioning, like a hotel or a resort, uh, a lot of people are getting into it, asking and queries with regards to the kind and the possible investment. Yes. They wanted to Well, many to many of our viewers Mangas. might be interested in doing that something of like course. that too. Of course, come and visit the Mangas yeah. and you will see the difference. I think so. I definitely think so. So I'm going to go ahead out and check out one of the local businesses here that I think you all will be like, "Wow, this is this place is number 1." Um so uh yeah, let's go see what that looks like and I'm going to show it all to you. So this is La Caron. Um I think it's Thai and Filipino. Yeah, there we go. Thai and Filipino restaurant. And this is a place that everybody recommended to me, so I said, okay, let me go check this out. And right away, I'm like blown away by the view behind it. So let's go see what's up. This is really close. I actually went backwards a bit because I'm closer to Ilo Ilo City now. It's only about 20 kilometers. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to catch this. I am going to Benate a little later today um, where I was at the Kasag Festival last year. Really love that place. So I thought I'd stop in and see some old friends there. Let's take a look at this. Wow. I'm always blown away by the mangroves and how they can live in this salt water, you know, when the tide comes in like this. And they just look like trees buried out in the ocean. It's incredible. You would think they die, but no. And they're really good for the environment because they actually clean the water and make things a lot healthier for the environment. But unfortunately, a lot of times they end up getting cut down. And so it's nice to see when they're protected like this. Yeah, it's just such a, what do they call it, an oxymoron when something seems to be, should be the opposite. How it just survives like that. I got a floating dock here, I guess you can book or something, or is that next door? I don't know how that works, but this view is just stunning. And this is La Caron. We're going to go check it out, see what uh, makes this place tick and why everybody loves it so much. Look at that, gold leaf. Hello, good morning. Oh, look at that, you're greeted by a Buddha immediately. Oh, it's nice and cool in here too. Hello guys, how are you? Hello, hello. Wow, this place is nice, guys. It's like, especially at night, you can imagine this would be like a romantic place. We're gonna try pizza and pad thai. I already, was already told that's what you gotta try here, so that's what we'll do. Hello, how are you? Are you hiding back there? Good morning. No hiding allowed. Hello. All right, here is the pad thai, and it looks amazing. I'm gonna have to bring this up here so you can take a look at this. Look at that. This is a portion for one person? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't actually don't eat as much as most people think, so this is gonna be a tough one. I also said, let me try the pizza because they told me, but now I wish I had more people here to enjoy it with me because, uh, yeah, I can't eat this much food. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll do my best. We have a couple Thai places in uh, Iloilo City, but uh, I don't think we've yet to be either to either of them. Because one of them is kind of like outside of the city near, and, oh thank you, Sam McLeod, of course, uh, near Otan. And uh, so you need a car to get out there, we don't have a car. Um, it's just really hard to get all the way out there, especially at night when they'll be popular and where you want to be. It's like a converted bus, I was told. And so, yeah, I haven't been. So I'm looking forward to this. Last time we had Thai food was on Barakai. And uh, let's see how it works out. I think this is tofu. It looks a lot like tofu. And it's tofu. Okay. Very good. A shrimp I'm gonna eat with my hands because it still has the tail on them. Oh yeah. Mm. It's great curry. I think curry, right? That's a pad thai. I don't know. Maybe I'm describing it wrong, but the sauce is fantastic. Pad thai noodles. Mm. It's so good. It's like a hollow hollow, you know, it's a mix mix. Technically, I should be mixing this all in a bowl. But. I'm enjoying the fact that I have different flavors of different parts of crap. Like I said, taking out time. This is the Lacaran pizza. As you can see, it's got shrimp in there, uh, some cheese. Uh, what is this? Onion? I don't know. I'm going to try it. Oh, it's like a seafood. Okay, so this is a seafood pizza. That's what the Lacaran pizza is. All kinds of seafoods on this pizza. It's super hot right now. I'm gonna burn my face off, I swear to God. It's not probably a good idea to just stick this in my mouth right now, but it's pretty crispy. Mm. Dripping with cheese, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's dripping with just cheese. This is really good. Mm. I dig it. Lots of Parmesan on this too, we can taste that. Time to hit the road. We're gonna head out to Benate. This was fantastic. I highly recommend it if you love Thai food. Well, you have Filipino food too here, but come on, if you want some Thai cuisine, come here. Uh, definitely try out the Pad Thai. Pizza's really great, but definitely the Pad Thai. That's my like, wow, it was absolutely amazing. All right, off to go on that road, head all the way up the coast. I think you have to divert away, but anyway, we'll see you in Benate. All right, I am in a place called Baratac Nouveau. I'm sure I've just butchered that name, Baratac Nouveau. And it is bustling. I just stop for a second. I know it says no parking, but just for a second. And it, the road is just insane. There are people coming and going every which way. It's like in the center of the universe to get anywhere in the city or something like that, or in the province, I mean. And here, look at this. Look at this barangay, gym, something like that. I'm not sure, but the design on that is incredible. I, I usually they're, you know, pretty much standard. I know in Patotan they have one like this, but this, this looks really modern and new. I don't know how new. I want to see if I can take a look inside it real quick. I really love these kind of things because, you know, in the Philippines, it's all about like community and, you know, togetherness and everything else. And so these kind of things are super important for the community because they all just hold all kinds of events inside it. I think all the doors are locked. Nope, this one's open. Here we go. The bike's fine for a second. Take a look at this. And it's so cool in here. Yeah, so they have their pageants, they have their shows, they have their sporting events, they do everything in here. It is definitely all brand new. Look at the chairs in this place. This is really pretty. And you can see the church out through the window in the back. Wow. 
That's impressive. It's one of the nicest ones I've seen, I gotta tell you. Don't see normally something like this good. So they must have had a really good budget. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue down, but I thought I'd stop and just check out this little area, show a little bit about it, especially this building, because it's so cool. Not much longer to Benata, though. I think another 30 minutes. So far, uh, I'm not burning like I did the other time. If you don't wear long sleeves, you don't wear pants. Oh my God, the wind burn and everything. You just take your skin off, so you gotta be careful. All right, let's keep going. Now take a look at the architecture in this church. You can see they did do the tower recently. That's definitely modern. But everything else definitely looks original. The original sandstone. Wow, or limestone. I'm not sure which one it is, but it is definitely old. I'm trying to find a date on it somewhere. I think it says 1930 right over there. Excuse me. Hello, kids. How are you? Hello. Hello. Do you know how old the church is? Yes. How old? No. <laughs> no, you don't know. Okay, fair enough. I think it says 1930. I could say 1830. I should do a U-turn. All right. Well, at least the statue anyway. It says it's 1930. But I, I don't know. Looking at this, I would have guessed even older than that. But then again, very few things survived after World War II. Hey, guys. And there's the building that they built right there. Absolutely amazing. And then they got a field here with some soccer if you're or if you're European football. Either way. So I guess this is the more modern side. It is like a massive, it's like a cathedral. And it says Knights of Columbus over here. In service to servers all. Um, so the other side was the side I saw. So I guess the old original side. And then this is definitely, definitely much more modern. I've arrived in Banate. Now this place is really unique and special. This is their like main park going on right here. And as you can see, I guess they're doing some re reconstruction, renovation. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're gonna make it ready for Christmas and put lights all over it. But what you can see here is there's three crabs, three large crabs. And that's because Banate is famous for crab they literally are so famous and they have so much crab here that their festival is called the Kasag festival the Kasag is a long go for crab so we've been here we went here last year we couldn't eat the amount of crab they put in front of us it was just mountains and mountains of crab plus shrimp and other things too but it was incredible so I've been looking forward to coming back to this place I'm gonna go check out I think it's called the Bayside and it's the most westernized uh, modern uh, hotel they have in the city right on the water which is beautiful beautiful view like rooftop pool everything I believe so I'm gonna go check that out and see what it looks like and probably just chill out and relax so that if I stay out here too long I'll get a sunburn so I gotta be careful there it is as you can see showing a pool here and everything all kinds of stuff so I know the front entrance is really nice too. They got a bar. I think another restaurant also in this place. Pretty sweet. Looks like they got craft beer here too. I wonder. Super Christmas going on up here. All right now, I think this is their KTV room. If you like karaoke. How are you? Good. You remember me or no? Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, well, I just came back. I'm on a motorcycle trip, so oh. I just driving town to town, and I thought I'd stop here and out there. Last time you couldn't uh, let our viewers see what the rooms look like yeah. because they were full. Yeah. Are they full today? That's no. So we could show them today. Uh, sure. Fantastic. That's what I was hoping that we could check them out. Oh, this is. I guess is this for banquets and parties? Yes. Okay, like weddings, uh, anything. Right. So this is the next floor up. 
the, so you yeah. can have like a family function here or something like that yes uh -huh. Very nice. And every one of these have beautiful views, just straight out. Every floor. Wow. But of course, the rooms are what we're hoping to show off. I have two. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. This is perfect. Yeah. This is stunning. And so this is just between the two rooms. Yeah. They share this one spot. So get ready for this, guys. This is going to yeah. blow your mind. You get all of this, <laughs> nice and beautiful. But yeah. you're going to need a big family. It's nice because you've got so it's just two rooms. So two rooms. Yeah. And look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Sunrise. You've got windows nice. all the way around. Sunrise and there, there is. You can uh, check it out. There's a private terrace. A private terrace. Out there, yeah. All right, so you have a private terrace here with two rocking chairs, an umbrella, and so you can get your sunrise over the mountains here, which you can see go all the way around this town. And of course, the, uh, the sea here, you can see all the fishermen boats there and everything. And then the sunset, you get out from the pool afterwards which is remarkable. Look at the mountain. Yeah, oh, yes. The mountains yes. are beautiful. And then, yeah, is this another this one? Market, yes. Oh my it's gosh. Open. And you have another terrace that you share with your other room that you're going to see in a minute. The market side. Facing the market, yeah. You get all the action and watch everybody going around. And the mountain scene just right across is so unbelievably beautiful. Manate is also famous for a lot of rice. There's a lot of rice out there as well. So not just the crabs, but the rice. Yep. But uh, really crabs is the one thing they really, really do well because nobody has, does crab better than, than Benate. So that's room number one. Um, is that a mirror? That's a mirror over there, right? Yeah, so this room, I don't see a TV or anything, but I guess the real world is probably better and more entertaining. So let's go to the second room here. This is the sunset room. This is the sunset room. Yeah, it makes sense. You're going to have it right out this way. So this one have a balcony or no, this one has the bathroom, right? On that side. No. Yeah, no. So there's no patio on this side, is there? No. No. Only the sunrise has a private. Right. But in front, the same thing with a market view. And how is this booked out? So you could do up just one or both or only both? How does it work? Yeah, you could both both rooms and then you could have your private right in order to get the yourself. privacy because you, otherwise you're sharing a bathroom yes. potentially with people you don't know so you're better off to book both of them so you have your private shower here um if you rent both of them if you don't well you're going to be sharing with whoever rents the other room you have your own like a dirty kitchen here because you have your own barbecue as well and that way you can have your own picnics and barbecue whatever and of course you have your cr here then yeah take a look at this you have your own seating dining area sort of thing a little bar stool standing here another table where you could shift some stuff over here yeah the sunset must be absolutely gorgeous i'm not an early riser so i don't see where all the sun rises to be honest oh that's new yeah that's pretty new the big one yeah is it apartments no it doesn't look like it ah commercial yeah interesting um, yeah, so there they have the esplanade that runs all the way down here and when the festivals are going on and everything there's vendors and markets They even have rides. It, it's really great. Kasag festival is a great time for everybody. The families absolutely love it They have that pier you can walk out all the way to the end as well And they have boat rides and stuff like that if you wanted to book with people. There's always somebody but look at this Look at this your own beautiful pool facing the ocean all right, so tell us, what is the price on these? We got the thirty-seven fifty. Right now we have the uh, Christmas bonanza that we have offered twenty percent off for the whole month. Oh of, wow! Uh, yeah, twenty so percent. thirty-seven fifty per night per yeah. room, uh, but it's for the month of December. The whole the month. whole month, it's twenty percent discount. Uh, November twenty-five because we were uh, celebrating first anniversary. Oh wow, so congratulations. From November 25th to December 25th. Yeah. Look at that, the building's only a year old. 
<laughs> That's yeah. incredible. So there you yes. go. Thirty-seven fifty is not everything a bad price is at all. Twenty percent off. Yeah. So basically, double that price if you want to bring everybody here and have this all yeah. to yourself peacefully. Yeah. That is about the price of staying in a nice hotel in Iloilo City for one night for two people. Yeah. So you can have a huge that thing is, yeah. with the beautiful view, with the pool, with everything for the same price. That's fantastic. That's a yeah, great, and great deal. Yeah, exclusively for you. For the yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Wow. Beautiful place. Thank you for showing us. Look at this, and this is your entrance to your place? Like, what? Yeah. You guys remember this guy? This is Billy. He is the one that invited us to the Kasag Festival, the Crab Festival last year, and was our host the whole time. Really appreciate it. He was such a good host. And uh, he just uh, popped in. We, we enjoyed having some time talking with the owners of the place. Wonderful people, absolutely wonderful. They, uh, they did really well for themselves in uh, the United States. Filipinos, yes. People are gonna say, wait, foreigners own it? No, Filipinos. Don't forget the 20% off. Yeah, and that's right. Well, it's already in the video actually. <laughs> yes. But yes, it's 20% off, including the restaurant this month, not just the, the hotel room. Um, yeah, not sponsored. I literally just love helping these people because they're really cool. Uh, as you can see, the market is doing really well. As the sun goes down, the markets light up. Hello, brother. Hello guys. All right, let's go here for a second. Why not? How you doing guys? A lot of trikes all lined up waiting for people. That's for sure. But yeah, you know, when the sun goes down, everybody has time and they come out. Everything lights back up again. Of course, first thing in the morning, the markets are booming. They're doing some construction here right now. So I'm gonna, yeah, they're renovating. They have a nice path put into here. I guess so it doesn't flood anymore, right? Yeah, for, for, the for flooding, yeah. Event. When you get typhoons, stuff like that, anything can happen. So they're raising everything up. Yeah, Billy knows everybody here. <laughs> he, he's a farmer. He's an entrepreneur. He's a hard worker. And, uh, and he's a good ambassador for this whole area. It's getting darker here now. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're doing some construction in this area too. Lots of dried fish, everything you need. But yeah, when it's all done, give them a few months. This place is going to look entirely different. It's low tide now, and as you can see, the ships are kind of just sitting there out on the sand. They'll float back up. It's always incredible to see. You never really think about it until, you know, you're faced with it. And you're like, wow, it's incredible how much the water goes in and out. There's people out there, once this tide goes out like this, they go out and they pick up all the shells that they can find because you can turn that into food. And the kids are all getting off school, so you see all these kids in uniforms everywhere. And just over here, they have uh, a permanent, like, food stand market sort of thing um, where they, it gets much bigger, obviously, during the festival. But now they have this permanent area over here, and it's really cool. So you can come down here, hang out at the boardwalk, and get food all the year round. We're also building a community fish landing center. We're renovating, sorry, yeah, because I was gonna say that sounds a little old. But yeah, so they have all these stalls that tonight, especially as, as the night goes on, they'll all open up and it goes all the way down. And then, then during the festival, this is full of tables and chairs and people partying. And that is going to be December 11th. If you want to come down to the Kasag Festival, if you're in the Ilu Ilu area, it's really simple and easy to get over here. You'll enjoy it. It's really cool. Plus all the crab. Oh my gosh. My friend. Hello, my friend. Where are you going? He's going around. Ayosha. Hello. Hello. Amigo. Amigo. Oh wow, they've really built this. So last year, the Esplanade ended right here. But as you can see, it goes for miles and miles, or maybe up you'll see, I don't know, based on the sunlight. But it just keeps going for miles and miles and miles after that. So it's incredibly a long Esplanade in this area. Wow, that's really cool. Cause you know, this is for the public, for the general people. And uh, seeing a government that actually put money and time into improving everybody's lives. Oh, look at this hollow hollow she's in. And so this area, hello, 
So in this area, they have all kinds. Oh, look at that. They got the cocos for the, the buco juice. And they got all these seating areas down here by the beach where you can come down and enjoy it with your family. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Oh, she's all shy because you're doing that. You're not allowed to say hello. Hello, guys. Hello. How's everybody doing? What's your name? Michael. Michael. What's your name? Christian. What's that? Christian. Christian. Brother. Nice to meet you. I found some friendly people. My friend, my friend. How are you? How are you, brother? I'm fine. Awesome. What's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan, how old are you, Ryan? I'm 14 years old. All right, cool. Have you always lived in Banate? Yes. <laughs> what? Have you always lived in Banate? Yes, I'm, all, I'm always here. You were born here, live here, yeah? Yes. And uh, what do you think of this place? Do you like Banate? I like it. Like. You like super it? Super like. You super like. Fantastic. And do you enjoy the Kasak Festival? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Super enjoy. Yeah. Were you dancing last year? Were you one of the no. people dancing? No, no, no. Will I'm you, watching. Will you be one of the people dancing this year? Yes. All right, yeah. good. That's all that matters. That's yeah. all that matters. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank nice you to meet you. Very cool. Kid won't leave me alone back here, though. All right. Woo. So he's lived here for four years straight here in Manate. So he, he's really become accustomed to this place. And it's become a second home because everywhere you go, everybody says hello to him. Yes, that is. And the beautiful thing about these Esplanades, it's not just for the families to go walking and everything else, is what it does is it protects them from typhoons and storms because they're seawalls as well. So therefore any sea rise uh, that comes up from big surges don't end up flooding the parts that's of the right. town. That's and so that's why it's important for them to do this, not just because it is aesthetically pleasing and because it gives people more public space, but actually protects their homes. And so, yeah, there it is. It goes way down. I don't, I'm not going to walk that whole way. I'll be sweating. But, uh, yeah, they've got a lot of room here for any swell. Of course, this is low tide, so it's quite down. You can see these old uh, steps they have here. But what a beautiful place. So for tonight, i got to head back to Iloilo. Got to sign some papers tomorrow. So I ha I'm going to go back tonight, sign them in the morning, and head back out again and keep this adventure going because this has been such a blast. Uh, it's nice, it's right, perfect time to drive. Don't have to worry about the long sleeve. Sun's coming down and it's not that far back to the city to be honest, so it should be good. Well, I'm gonna tell you, that's exhausting on my back. Too tall for this, I think. But uh, it's going good. I'm in Zaraga which is like a little small town just outside of Iloilo City. So I'm very, very close now at this point. Wow, I got to tell you, driving at night is so much different um, here. It, it's it's got to be the visor on my motorcycle helmet because when it's down, everything kind of glares. There's glare everywhere. And so many people don't have, don't have lights. They just drive straight on the same lane as you, straight at you, and because they want to turn at some point or something. And, you know, all that you gotta worry about. Super defensive driving you gotta do. And yeah, the glare is killing me, but if you don't put it down, the bugs will just slap you in the face like crazy at this time of night, so. It's a lot of fun. But you know what the funny thing is, is in Canada, every day I would drive for work and all that kind of thing. And there wasn't a day you wouldn't see an accident or at least see all the glass from an accident that day at that intersection, that kind of thing. But here, it's like everybody's defensive driving always. You just have to expect the worst at all times could it could happen and actually makes it safer as crazy as it sounds maybe a little more stressful but i don't know what do you guys think anyway so very close they're right across the street they have a night market going on where they have ukai ukai which is like used clothing and everything but then every other type of shop sunglasses whatever right by the 7-eleven we've driven through here quite a bit and we've considered like oh my gosh we should come here and see what kind of stuff they have in this market but not tonight, not tonight. I'm exhausted and uh, sweaty and everything, so we'll keep going. 
I made it home. It's uh, 7.30, something like that, 7.30. So it took about two and a half hours to get from Benate to here. Um, yeah, so I'm alive. I made it. it. The night thing, man, I'm gonna have to come up with uh, like the glasses that are not as tinted, something like that, that I can wear because, or fix that visor, I don't know. Something. It's my helmet, so I should fix it. Um, Bianca didn't even notice me. <laughs> She's up there playing uh, games with somebody online screaming. I could just hear yelling and screaming. Anyway, and uh, I just kind of went like this, and she went, so I, I, maybe she thinks, maybe she didn't see me, I don't know, it's really weird. So, no Bianca for this video, sorry about that. Uh, all right guys, we'll see you again soon. Uh, tomorrow we'll have more, much more going on. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again.